guys, first day back doing cleanups. See if I can take you guys through here. It's uh, been a beautiful morning. We've already done one other cleanup. Things are going well. Here's the inside of the trailer. And then let me show you guys something really neat. This is uh, our double wall sides. Here's where we're at so far. That's crazy. This is just from one property. So we're not putting the dump box on like we were talking about. We're not going to be using the uh, Billy Goat unless we really need to. So that's always can change. But we can always put the leaf box on if we need to. But right now, we're just dumping it in here. Uh, we don't take as much leaf uh, material away in the spring, obviously, as we do in the fall. But it's working out so far. I gotta get my leaf blower out and start doing some work here, but quick little fun clip for you guys this morning. Guys, that's it. Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. We'll catch up with you guys here soon. Have a great day. What's up, guys? Rocking the Milwaukee uh, M12 spare tire inflator or the little tire inflator this is absolutely one of my uh, favorite little tools that we have for our lawn and landscaping business a little highlight here for you guys today so many of you always ask how do we keep our tires filled up on the mowers the trailers uh, this tool I think it's 69 bucks you know a good m12 battery 59 79 bucks something like that uh, but any which way people always ask what's your favorite tool with your lawn and landscape business hands down the Milwaukee m12 uh, tire inflator let's go check it out again So really simply, if you guys can see, uh, just connects to the tire like typical, like normal. Uh, here's your power on and off or off and on. Uh, so it tells you the PSI reading of where you're at with the tire that you're connected to. And then all you simply do is hit in increments of singles or fives and you can get it to wherever you need it to go. Uh, most of our tires are 55 PSI, so on and so forth. And then all you have to do is simply hit the inflate button. I hit this button here, it automatically cycles through. We're able to top off all, all four tires, uh, no problem with a single M12 battery. Uh, this had two dots, so you get about three or four good charges, three or four good pumps uh, out of the tire inflator. So these are one of my favorite items to go with. Uh, check them out at your you know local big box store for you know 69, 70 bucks. You can always have your tires inflated. To me, that is awesome. We always keep one of these on hand uh, under the seat of our truck. And then we also keep the rapid in uh, car charger for the Milwaukee system for our batteries. So we're, we're never uh, worried about a flat tire and we always have a way to inflate any tires that are low, whether it's on the trailer, the trucks, or the uh, lawnmower. So anyway, tag a buddy down below that you guys think might enjoy this or uh, you know maybe shoot the video a big uh, thumbs up if you guys enjoy this. But don't forget to hit follow and uh, this is just another quick short clip and hope you guys are having a great day. guys it's Brian Brian's all maintenance hey really quick show you guys the super jack from ballot Inc we've got our X mark Starus 
there you go. So I'm like 165 pounds soaking wet. Not the strongest dude, but we can still lift up our 60 and zero term. By the way, a lot of guys always ask like if this thing is rigid. You see Ballard do this on his Instagram. Nothing's wiggling around. It's good, it's stable. The new ones have a brake on here, so the uh, more jack's not gonna kick out or anything like that. You can get them at uh, ballard-inc.com and they're an affiliate partner of ours where Brian's 10 saves 10%. So uh, they do work on zero turn mowers as well. I personally haven't had to use them on our zero turns because we have a little wind up jack. But if you have a stand on 36, 52, 48, 60s, you're good to go. Uh, check them out. Hey, maybe tag a buddy down in the comments who might want to see this kind of video. And guys, for 250, 300 bucks, this jack could help you out a big time with changing your lawnmower blades. No more putting an offset on the uh, trailer ramp and trying to get under there with your impact or your wrenches. So, all right, guys, that's it. We'll catch up with you. Big thumbs up on the video. We'll catch up with you on the next one. Hey, what's up guys, it's Brian. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, we got that little short here for you guys today. Wanted to talk to you guys about our coupler lock, which is the coupler lock we use from Proven Lock, uh, Proven Industries. And these things are, no joke, a tank of a coupler lock. So the number one thing we always talk about, ugh, I'm still at my dealer here, or my, my dealer, I'm at my uh, storage locker here. The number one question we always hear or talk about is how do we lock our trailer up? How do we secure it? So out and so forth. Well. Guys, I know these are not cheap. These are 250, 300 bucks. Uh, they are a Brian's 10 partner, which helps you save 10% on your orders online. So thank you for the support if you pick one up. Here's the deal. When you have a 10, $15,000 trailer, you have a 10, $15,000 lawnmower, at least one, if not two, you add a bagger unit, your tools, your trimmers, your blowers, uh, you guys know that you're gonna be rocking 30, 40, 50,000 dollars of equipment inside the trailer, plus the 10 grand for the trailer, right? So here's what I would say. Budget for a good coupler lock. Budget for a lock, you're like it's 300 bucks. Yeah, but it's protecting $50,000 and your livelihood. It's not only the, the cost of the equipment, but what does it cost if your trailer is lost or stolen? Well, not lost, but stolen. Now you're out <clears throat> one, two weeks worth of, uh, of time, uh, insurance claims uh, back and forth. Is your equipment even gonna be in stock to re-up? All those problems, let's avoid them as best we can. Now. If you can park your stuff off-site in a secure facility, great. Uh, and no lock is, you know, perfect, right? We've all heard that, said that. I get it. But this is a solid lock, and it's also a solid deterrent for anybody looking to scope out your trailer and do the unthinkable, right? So these right here, they have a puck lock that's going inside. This shield and shroud goes over the coupler. Uh, there is a, another shield where it clamps onto. It's extremely simple. So this is all uh, two-piece design one goes in it's a plate the shield go and the shroud goes over it and you can even keep your chains tucked inside uh inside the coupler so it's extremely simple and then also uh, so you know you're getting old every time you you move you make a noise right <laughs> uh, and then also for the rv door or the ramp door we use the puck locks okay so ours are gosh four years old they're still holding up great um Let's just throw this RV door on here. And then we'll put the puck lock in like so. It's got the little pin. You just push it up, turn, and the little pin on the back side is what goes through that little uh, hole for your RV door, okay? Uh, these are not cheap either. These are 50 bucks. But again, you just spent 10 grand on an, uh, uh, a trailer or five grand. You just spent 15, 20, 30,000 bucks on your uh, mowers and everything inside is your livelihood trust me i get it like i'm not making money either but an extra three four hundred bucks goes a long way to safely securing and storing your equipment puck lock puck lock if you guys can see the other one uh these are about 50 bucks each but guys they literally will last you a lifetime so whether you got a camper sorry guys it's really sunny out whether you guys have a camper whether you guys have a a boat um uh, a trailer, utility or enclosed or otherwise, um, spend one, two, 300 bucks securing your stuff. You know what you're really buying? You're buying peace of mind. <laughs> Seriously, that's what you're buying. Uh, a couple quick things, provenlock.com I think is what it is or provenlocks.com. I'll leave a little link down below. Brian Sen does save you 10%. But one thing I'll say is make sure you shop and do your research and get the right lock uh, for your coupler. Every coupler is different. If you have questions, email them. That's actually what I did. I said, here's my brand, here's my coupler. I sent them a photo, I think, uh, and they gave me the uh, answer. I needed the generic two and five sixteenths coupler. It's like their main one. I think it was $259 or $265, something like that. Uh, this was four years ago. So the 
prices might be up a little bit more, forgive me. Um, but if you have different style trailers, different couplers, <clears throat> so on and so forth, um, do your research, make sure you get the right lock, that way you don't have to ship it back and forth and all that mess. Uh, also, if you have utility trailers, even a single axle, they have a great uh, axle trailer lock, something that goes through the spindle uh, of the rim, I should say. It goes through the, the, the rim and ties onto the uh, leaf spring of a utility trailer. So even if you have a single axle trailer and you don't want those wheels to spin, uh, check that out. I think that uh, crowbar style looking lock is again, 150 to 200 bucks. Okay. So guys, take your trailer safety uh, serious. Don't, don't get caught with your pants down. Uh, don't get your stuff stolen or jacked. Obviously that would be the unthinkable if it's ever happened. Uh, my heart goes out to those people because it sinks. That's your, your time, your money. And uh, you don't want to be that guy that has to send out a GoFundMe this summer saying, Hey, I need 20 grand because I just lost my stuff. Uh, and it wasn't insured, or even if it wasn't insured, it's still gonna be a nightmare and a hassle, right? So anyway, that's my encouraging word for you guys today. Uh, check them out, provenlocks.com. Brian's 10 partner, save you 10%. And uh, we appreciate the support. All right, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, big thumbs up. I'm trying to do these shorts for you guys. Hope you enjoy them. And uh, if you guys are new here, don't forget to follow along and uh, maybe tag a buddy down below if, uh, if this is something that he could benefit from as well. And uh, hope you guys have a safe, profitable year. All right, guys, that's it. Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian. Wanted to just show you guys our Equipment Defender trailer rack setup really quick. A lot of questions coming in. Let me turn the camera around. As you guys can see, this is our four position trimmer rack that we have on the enclosed trailer. Now, really simply, these just mount to the studs of your trailer. You have uh, one inch self tapping screws that go through on the different mounts. Extremely straightforward. There's two position, three position, and four position, they call it trimmer racks. Uh, the Equipment Defender ones also come with the engine mount holders which is really nice to stop that vibration going down the road for your open or enclosed trailer and then really simply to lock them after you have your key or your combo lock you just go like so and you can't take those out okay it's extremely straightforward unlock it pull your trimmers off the rack and you're good to go so that's what we use for our trimmer racks and then the blower racks right here as you guys can see this is the version 2 same thing they just mount right on here. Uh, self uh, securing screws, torque spits, uh, very, very safe, very, very secure. And then really simply, the swing arm down here is what swings over. Usually we threw it all in, in here in the fall, obviously. But usually we have this swung over, locks on here. And then same thing, you can have a key lock or a combo lock. Like I said, equipmentdefender.com if you want to check them out. And by the way, Brian's 10 saves you 10% on all your orders. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, maybe a big thumbs up really quick. And guys, as always, we appreciate the support. All right, go out there. Have a great day. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one.